Next, we need to go over a little bit, bit about insights and outsides as it pertains to two-point perspective. So we're going to set up a giant two-point perspective grid, and we're going to do one plane that has insets, one that has outsets. So we're going to create our main vertical. And again, we're working with a two-sided box, so we're just doing two triangles. Okay. Now we're going to cut off both the planes. Boom, boom. So let's say we're going to take a door frame. And we'll make this like kind of a deep set door frame. I'm using a construction line for this so that you can see it a little bit better. We're going to focus on the inset, right? So again, we're going to want to find the center of the door. So we're going to go ahead and center this construction line. Okay. Now, the next thing is, is we're going to inset, but we can't inset with a horizontal, right? Because in two point, we have no horizontals, right? We have diagonals and we have verticals. So what we have to do is we have to inset and go towards this vanishing point. So we inset and go to the vanishing point, inset and go towards the vanishing point, right? Then over here, we're going to run a vertical, right? We're, again, we're doing a deep inset, so we're going to do a vertical. And then we have to run back to the vanishing point. Boom, boom. So we're going to run back to the vanishing point until we hit the door, back to the vanishing point, until we hit the door, right? So here, we actually have to parallel or use orthogonals that are very close to kind of what we've set up um, and eliminate our horizontal line. Then we can come back in and we can, you know, re-emphasize our contours and find the door and everything. Then to inset the center, Remember, we have to go from here back to the vanishing point, and then we can find our center of the door going up from this point. Okay, so there we have it. In two point, we have inset our door. Remember, we're just following our guidelines, and our main guideline is that we can only draw verticals and we can draw diagonals. We do not draw our horizontal. Um, then let's do an outset. So if we want to go ahead and do this door, and we want to put an awning over the door, we can take our awning, sketch it out, by pasting it onto the side of the plane. And now we want to uh, outset it. So what we want to do is we want to pull these out. Remember that we're pulling out by going from the vanishing point. So we pull from the vanishing point. Then we drop our vertical. Then we go back to the vanishing point, back to the vanishing point, then we pull from this corner, vanishing point, vanishing point, and vertical. And one of the things that you want to be uh, pay attention to is that I've kind of messed up here and I've created uh, this more or less lines up here. So what I want to do is probably adjust that, right? Um, and I can adjust that kind of on the fly and say, well, I'm going to make this awning project out further. Because if I align things, it kind of kills depth. So I'm going to create my awning. And there we go. So now this awning broke up the contour interestingly because it breaks up that outer edge. And here, the inset breaks up the contour. And anytime you break up the contour, you create more interest. 